uh, both the left-wing and right-wing thinkers villainize big business. It's viewed as responsible for everything that's gone wrong in our society. Trump attacks business people on Twitter. The left wing wants to split up large corporations. Everywhere we're blaming big business. Yes, and um, so you have a, a couple of fun observations in here where you talk about, look, business makes all of the things that we need and that we enjoy. They offer, they provide our paychecks. In fact, in some ways, they've helped America become more socially inclusive. You point to some of the big businesses that moved first to recognize same-sex partnerships, for example, before the Supreme Court did. Why do you think the reputation is so bad when these are businesses that most of us work for day to day? I think we're in an era where people are losing trust in just about everything, including organized religion and also Congress. And business is getting a lot of the onslaught. But American business is some of the best in the world. We have the most productive managers. We're the most innovative country in the world. So I thought we needed a book like this one. Uh, over the weekend, New York Times Magazine had an issue about climate change in which, uh, in one piece in particular, they kind of excoriate corporations saying they behave like psychopaths and that coercion must be the remedy uh, because psychopaths respect only force. Now, the, the argument here is about stopping the burning of greenhouse gases. What does the pro-business Tyler Cowen say in response to this for people who are concerned about this problem? Climate change is a very real problem. We will need a lot more innovation. Probably most of that innovation will come from business. And business would be or should be a partner in solving that problem. If we vilify big business, all that becomes harder to accomplish. Why? Why can't they? You saw the Green New Deal. Why do we have to use the business system? And why can't we just impose it from the top down and say, here's exactly how to solve the problem? And we should have solved it yesterday, so we should solve it tomorrow by force. Innovation usually comes from decentralized forces competing against each other to do things in new ways. The Green New Deal is a big mess combined actually with a fair amount of socialism, oh, the government should give everyone a job. That has nothing to do with fixing the carbon emissions problem. It's a kind of political excuse. We need to focus on actually making American science better. You uh, defend big tech, among other things, and say that, uh, look, Facebook, for example, has a lot to offer society. These things sometimes seem like they're stating the obvious, but what about monopolies? What about, you know, all the, the laundry list of things that people throw at corporations for being bad actors? Well, Facebook, Google, they do have strong positions in what they supply, but they have that because they produce the best services. You don't have to pay anything for doing a Google search. So Google has your data. That in turn allows people to target you with advertisements for things you might want. If you don't like the deal, you don't have to use Google. There are many other search services. It seems to me these are miraculous developments, which now we are turning on because somehow they're not perfect.